punishing pensioners and taking away school meals from our children. Shut up! Tax cuts for the Conservatives' big business friends. Shut up! More Jeremy Corbyn, tax. from backbencher to brand. Away from the broadsheets, the tabloids and the TV channels, this past election saw the Labour leader turn from a figure of fun to one of admiration online. Think Millie fandom and Clegmania times ten with grime music. Shut up! The first time Jeremy Corbyn came back to this place after the election, he got a standing ovation from Labour MPs. How did he do it? How did he turn it around? We all know Theresa May had a lacklustre campaign. The manifesto was a nightmare with the dementia tax. But was it something else? Was it that Jeremy Corbyn became the focus of countless memes and viral videos? That Jeremy Corbyn went from being a brand not just shared millions of times online, but a brand that made thousands of people go out and vote. The Labour Party has been praised by some commentators for its hopeful campaign. But a lot of the content that made Corbyn an online star came from outside the official party. Have a Pringles here. There's a few here. Take another angry voice, a left-leaning blog written by an English tutor in Yorkshire. In the final week of the election campaign, he had nearly a million interactions on Facebook, and his post on Corbyn's policies was one of the most widely shared during the election. Alt-left media, from the likes of the Canary and Navarra media, are all offering online content that is unashamedly pro-Labour and more viral than the mainstream. I think there's two kinds of shareables that we're talking about here. On the one hand is like the fun, laddie, Corbyn the absolute boy meme. The second is a much more informative kind of shareable, and that's what we at Navarra Media really try and put out, where we treat facts as sacred, but we are not shy about being partisan. Momentum is the partisan movement allied to Corbyn's Labour Party. They help to produce and share content online that seem to thrive on Labour's manifesto message. Momentum managed to kind of like turn the manifesto and talk about these issues in very bite-sized videos um, uh, and through other like shareable memes etc and you know that's why they were so successful online because people were like yeah that's that's how I feel that's why I'm angry. And how do you get people to go from sharing a video to going out and knocking on doors? We had things like my nearest marginal which uh, meant that people could just put in their postcode and find out where the nearest marginal was and catch a lift or offer a lift and go there. Shifting the campaign from the digital to the physical saw seats like Brighton and Kemptown swing to Labour. A Tory majority of 690 in 2015 is now a Labour one of just under 10,000. You mean people that have never even voted before who are coming out to, to campaign. So to that step from being completely ambivalent to, to actively involved I think was something that was quite, quite new. And do you feel that some of the digital strategy, like the My Nearest Marginal app, that helped to get people from all over to come and campaign? Uh, yeah, a guy who I met, not at my university, at a friend's university uh, in Manchester, who had come down to Kemp Town because it was a marginal, um, and I hadn't spoken to him for five years. And it was that kind, of, that kind of thing, people you wouldn't expect to see from all over the country coming to these marginals, which really, really did make a difference. But let's not get carried away. Jeremy Corbyn lost the election. And despite social media reaching the young, a YouGov poll showed that 59% of 18 to 24 year olds voted, much lower than had been assumed, and the lowest turnout among all age groups. The grasp and outreach of the mainstream media is still vast. The bubbles of partisan news still have some way to go. Jerry! Jerry, what's the naughtiest thing you've done? Corbyn has become a brand for Labour Online, <laughs> but not a man in power.